Good evening and a thank you for joining us. The state of Texas hopes to get billions of dollars from the federal government when it comes to support for connecting you to the internet, but the state's broadband development office believes that will depend on the accuracy of a map. KCBD News Channel 11's Case Wilbanks joins us with a look at how you can challenge it. Case? Yeah, Karen and Abner, it's the FCC's national broadband map, and that funding is for broadband equity and access. The state wants you to take a look at the map, zoom in, and make sure what it says is available or not available is accurate. Sounds like a long time, but January 13th is coming in pretty quick, so that, that's when the challenge period does end. And that's the deadline to challenge the FCC's national broadband map, which by type and speed and internet service provider shows broadband availability down to the individual address. If you're not served, and the map is showing that you are, you need to challenge it. Floyd County Judge Marty Lukey chairs the governor's broadband council. I think it's very important that the federal government know that the state of Texas is serious about what uh, getting broadband to people, uh, getting everyone aboard. And that's why the Broadband Development Office went as far as putting together a guide on how to dispute the FCC's map, if necessary, saying an underestimation could possibly reduce the state's allocation of billions of dollars from the Broadband Equity Access and Deployment Program. Whether it's a location or whether it's availability, uh, either one. And, and the location could be, they could have your address wrong uh, or something like that. You can challenge that. Or they may show you as a single family dwelling and it may be a, an apartment building. Those challenges can be made through the map itself. Lukey says ensuring Texas gets proper assistance will be beneficial as the council and the office continues its own efforts over the next year to expand broadband, build its own availability map, and implement its plans. We're working hard and fast to get to the top. And uh, we've never settled for second best in this state. We're not gonna settle for it now. So we're gonna continue to work. Uh, the council is gonna continue to make suggestions and look at different items. And the broadband office is gonna continue down the path of getting everyone broadband and our accessibility to broadband. We do have those links to the map, the challenge guide, as well as the council and office resources on our website. Lukey encourages everyone to engage with the development office and council as they hold meetings in this new year. Again, that challenge deadline is next Friday the 13th. Karen. Thank you, Case.